everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Katie. We are slowly making our way through this box of salt and pepper shakers. There was originally what I believe is 32 sets. I've unboxed and unwrapped quite a few so far, so welcome back. Uh, if you're new here, I buy and sell online, and uh, yeah, I buy and sell online. <laughs> I usually end up going to thrift stores, estate sales, um, retail arbitrage, things like that. I have been staying out of the stores lately and doing more things from my couch. <laughs> so if you're interested in reselling hard goods and becoming a reseller, I am a part-time reseller. I have been a part-time reseller for three years. It wasn't until I got laid off last year um, for a little bit of time that I decided I wanted to take my eBay store and go full-time. So I started getting serious. I bought new lights, a backdrop, and just started making sure I've, I'm posting every day. As you can see back here, I do have a momentum board that I'm working on. I'm hoping to get for the month of January 155 items listed. I've got, I think, 13 more days to go. I've got a few. Today is the 23rd, and there's 31 days in January. So I try to list at least five items a day in my eBay store. And while that doesn't sound like a lot, <laughs> I also cross post all of my items to my Macari store and to my Facebook marketplace. And then all of my vintage items I then list in my Etsy shop. So five turns into, you know, five, possibly times three, depending on how much vintage is listing. It's at least, you know, it's at least listing things five times in three places and then sometimes on Etsy. <laughs> I did for a while branch out, branch out to Poshmark and Depop. And I got burnt out too fast. And so I stuck with where my things were selling most, which was Macari and Facebook Marketplace. And on most days, my Facebook Marketplace um, outsells my eBay. So with that, let's open up our first set, which was not wrapped in a sock. Hooray! Because if you've seen the last three videos, a lot of these have been wrapped in socks, which gives me the heebie-jeebies. This is a small set. Um, of penguins. They do have cork bottoms. Mm, this has something inside of it and that worries me. We'll figure it out later. Hopefully it's not something weird. But those are the first ones for now and those are penguins. Move the keyboard. This is my desk behind me if you couldn't tell. This is where I'm placing all of them for the time being and then once I'm done I'm going to have to carefully move them somewhere else. I didn't think about that when I started. But here we are. This is listed as brown sparrows. Let's see. One and two. If this is your first video of that you're seeing of me, there are two or three other videos before this one of me unboxing the same box. I'm just going through five or six pieces at a time. Just so the video, if I didn't, the video would probably be, you know, two hours long and nobody wants that. <laughs> and I don't want to edit that. So these are some brown sparrows. I don't see any, oh, nope, I lied. There are some crazing issues very lightly underneath the wings, but they are cork bottoms, uh, marked Japan. What's nice about selling salt and pepper shakers, if you haven't sold them before, they are most of the time under six ounces. So if you have a light sturdy box and some bubble wrap, you know, you can get them shipped out for under eight ounces, which is always first class <laughs> in the States. Next is listed. I wonder why they listed them all. They didn't have to do that. Next is marked sunflowers. Let's see, put this one here. I think before the next video, I'm going to have to empty this trash can behind me. There's just so much random packing material in it. Hmm. So these are missing their bottoms. It was marked sunflower. So here are those. There's no other markings besides. Besides the tag that was on the bag, there's no Japan, no nothing. But those are cute. 
but no stoppers. So I'll have to look for some replacement stoppers. I'll probably look on eBay, I'm sure. Somebody's got them on there. This one is marked Pineapple. Pineapple Guys? I think that says Pineapple Guys, but I don't remember. Like I said, my last video, it's been a while since I purchased these and they arrived, so I don't quite remember what I bought. Oh, okay, I see. I do remember this now. Another piece of scrap fabric. <laughs> so these are little pineapple dudes. How cute. Mark Japan with a cork bottom. And like always, if you're interested in any of these items before they get listed, just go ahead and leave a comment down below or email me at downriverflipper at gmail.com. This one is marked tomatoes. So here's my question for you. Are tomatoes a vegetable, a fruit, or a berry? And I encourage you to comment before you Google it. And then once you've commented, oh, did you see that? Once you've commented, then feel free to look it up and then see if your comment was correct and then come back and be honest and just mark if you were wrong or if you were right. I'm going to tell you right now, I believe that it's a berry. So this is a set of tomatoes, plastic bottoms. These do look a little rough. This stopper is just hanging out. I don't think it's the right stopper for this piece. But there's the bottoms, no other markings. There are some tomatoes. So we have pineapples and tomatoes. Let's see, what's this one? Oh, more ducks. So we've opened up one, two, two things of ducks so far. So let's see, this is gonna be our third set of ducks. And I see what looks like more scrap fabric. So here are these. Um, they did have them listed as ducks. This one's stopper is stuck inside. This one's cork stopper is actually out. They are marked Kasuga Wear Japan. And any crazing? No crazing, no chips, no cracks. Again, there's the bottom. All right, how many more sets we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's just get them all done in this video. That way we can be done with the series and we can move on to the next. All right, next is a big one listed as beer steins. I shouldn't say listed. Each one of these has like this little paper tag that says, that says what it is. Uh-oh. I don't know if you can hear it, but I hear a rattle in this one. So we will open that first just to get it. Okay, so the rattling we hear in this one is the cork stopper or plastic stopper. I'm going to guess it's cork because if it was plastic, it probably wouldn't have fallen through. So their stopper is stuck inside. That's the second or third one like that. But here are these beer steins. They have some flowers, and some roosters. They're marked PY on the bottom. And even sets like this that are bigger, and sets like this, these still only weigh about five or six ounces. So you can still get these out first class with the right packing. So I encourage everyone to look at salt and pepper shakers. They're so easy to ship. This one's uh, Chef Hats. Wooden shakers. I do like that they put all of them in little baggies so that way the sets didn't get separated, which was always nice. So these are, yeah, these are definitely uh, painted wood. Oh, how cute. So it's salt and pepper and made in Japan. No cork, no bottom. Um, how do you fill it? Oh, okay. So it unscrews. You just fill it up like that. Hmm, that doesn't smell like it's been used. I don't smell anything in it, though it's salt, and I don't know if I could really smell salt. I thought that one was the pepper. If that was really loud and squeaky, I'm so sorry. Hmm, we'll try that later. But yeah, cute little wooden set. And five more to go. 
This says Hawaiian three-piece set. All right, sorry about that, everyone. My battery died in my GoPro, so while I switched out the battery and put that on the charger, I also emptied out this trash can. So I'm gonna try and go as quickly as I can through the next few sets because I've only got about seven minutes left on my SD card, so we're really pushing it today. So thank you everyone for sticking with me. I appreciate you so much. Of course, it wouldn't be complete if this one wasn't in a sock. Ooh, but what is this? Oh, what is this? Another sock. So this is a pineapple set. It looks like they were probably in a base at one time. Oh, there's a base. My question is, is it SeaWorld? Because I just listed one similar to this. It's not. I listed one extremely similar to this that was marked SeaWorld um, Treasure Craft. This one does not have a, it does say Treasure Craft and it does say Hawaii. So these sit inside just like this. Cute little pineapples. I love that, that's so cute. I think that's my favorite one so far besides the honeybees. All right, moving on. Let's find the next sock. This says hand, handing, handing puppies? Standing puppies. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. All right. These are Mark Japan with a cork bottom. They are two little puppies with these big blue bows. They almost remind me of the puppy Lady from Lady and the Tramp um, when they first got her as a puppy. There are those. And they do feel like they've been painted with no like actual glaze on top. All right, three more sets. Let's see, it says cabbage. So, so far we've had tomatoes, pineapples, more pineapples, apples, and now we're gonna have some cabbages. All right, oh, these are cute. They look like, they look like little Brussels sprouts actually, instead of cabbage. But they do have a plastic bottom. They are marked Japan. They do feel like they have like a light glaze, but not like a really thick glass glaze, if you know what I'm talking about, if I know what I'm talking about. But there are those. And two more, we'll do the, oh cool, they think these ones are wood. I'm glad the trash isn't fully overfilling anymore. They're salt and pepper shakers, but they're wooden alarm clocks. And what's that say? Betty? Tram Thelma, July 19th, 1955, California. Trees of Mystery from Redwood Highway. <gasps> That's amazing. I love, I know all these have a little bit of history, but like things that someone made and signed and took the time to do, like it's just, it's just so wonderful. Like I just find like a little piece of happiness with it because like someone took the time to make these and work on them and had somebody in mind to give these to. And that's just a beautiful thing to me. So just like the wooden clock, they have a wood bottom, oh, a wood stopper. These are cute, but here's the little signature. And then here's that. Last but not least, we are finally to the bottom of this box. My GoPro's had enough, my SD card's had enough, everyone here's probably had enough. I've probably had enough editing. This says palm tree, three-piece set. I'm also done looking at people's weird socks and so I'm so glad the last piece does not have socks in it. Let's see. Huh. Okay. So this is a palm tree set, which I wouldn't expect such like a simple ceramic uh, salt and pepper shaker set with a plastic bottom, but here is the base. Here's that. Almost looks like it believe, like belongs in like uh, like a restaurant on the coast, like in Florida or Hawaii. Like so cute. But 
I almost wish these were had been like seagulls or something. I think that would have just like taken it over the top. But this is still really cute. This one will probably go, these are probably all eight ounces and under. This one's probably like at nine ounces. So this one might, <clears throat> once in a box, I still think it'll go first class, but there's that one. Here's our very last one. Whew, it's been a journey. We're out of salt and pepper shakers. I thank you so much for sticking around and looking at all these sets with me and just taking the time with me. Please remember to like and subscribe and then I'll see you once the next box comes.